Hey, so what's going on everyone? So this video is to say thank you for 2020 and for me to give you a glimpse of what to expect in 2021. So a lot of you might be new to me because this channel has only been up for a year. So in the past year, this channel went from just doing book trailers and I have a comic con set up for the last event I did before the events of 2020 happened. So that was the beginning of it. Now we're doing vlogs, we're doing unboxings. But let's talk about the writing side of things. Because that's one of the things a lot of you are subscribed to me for. So prior to everything that happened in 2020, my plans were for the most part, ended up being what they ended up being, which were to do multiple small digital books throughout the year, with the print books essentially being compilations of what I've released digitally throughout the year. So, we ended up with the 2020 sampler, just showing everyone what everyone is getting. Got Tales from the Forbidden Forest, which doubled up as my fifth novella and my second short story collection with the digital release Demonic Bites. And we saw the release of Chaos Fusion, which is one of my more ambitious projects I've done. So periodically throughout the year, I would put out a novelette or a short story. And the final product was Lucifer's Lost Love, Playing Games, Cindy's Choice, Sector Omicron, and Regroup from the Remains, all under the same banner of Chaos Fusion. 2020 also saw the release of multiple anthologies throughout the year. Uh, saw the release of I did One of Us, which was compiled by Sammy Sands, and that was another addition to the Wing Green Saga I've been releasing throughout the last few years. Saw the release of Ancients, the final Dark Dravels book in the Dark Dravel series from Black Hair Press. I was in the inaugural compilation anthology from Sweetie Cat Press with Who's Who of Emerging Writers, being a number one new release here and a number one bestseller in France. So, thank you. And I want to talk a little bit about the big success stories I had this year. So, on my Facebook page, I did my top three. And a lot of decent things actually happened, regardless of how messed up 2020 was for everyone. I have to say I had some success stories. So I want to narrow it down to three, just because I felt like that was the best way to do it. So my top three moments. Number three. Lucifer's Lost Love cracks the top 100 on Amazon. So I've been a part of multiple anthologies that have been bestsellers. However, on my end, none of my books have ever cracked the top 100. Even though Meta and Three Crowns have been fairly successful for me. I'm, I'm still selling copies of those regularly to this day. And Meta's been out four years going on five. And Three Crowns is three years going on four. But Lucifer's Lost Love, the first book in the Chaos Fusion series was my first to crack the top 100, it peaked at number 42 in Kindle Short Reads, and it peaked at number 2 in New Releases. This little tidbit is what's going to lead to another moment on here. 
That was number three. Number two. This channel's been monetized. I am now officially part of the YouTube Partner Program. And a lot of that has to do with a lot of you watching the videos. Uh, a lot of people that were wanting to be a part of the channel, which resulted in me needing to up my upload schedule from once a week to twice a week. In fact, when I did my celebration of sorts for 2,000 subs, I was just going to do the one week of daily uploads. So the week after I officially passed 2,000 subscribers, I figured out which videos I was going to do Monday through Friday. And I was going to do that and then the week after go back to my regular twice a week upload schedule. Between the amount of people watching those, the comments I was seeing, I decided to double down. And we went two weeks in a row, daily upload. So y'all got 10 videos in two days, usually, or in two weeks. Usually 10 videos would be five weeks for this channel because I do Tuesdays and Fridays. So a lot of you watching, a lot of you checking out the authors that I'm showing off on this channel definitely has helped out not just me, but it's helped out a lot of other people as well. So for that, I do want to say thank you. And a lot of you probably already know what number one is, either because you've already seen my Facebook page or because I talk about it quite a bit. It's the reason that I'm in front of the camera more often. It's pretty much the highlight for me for 2020 and hands down the biggest crowning achievement I've done thus far. My number one moment, the third book in the Chaos Fusion series, Cindy's Choice, was my first ever number one. Not only was it a number one, but it peaked in the top 10 of bestsellers. It peaked at number seven in short reads, and it peaked at number one in new releases. Again, biggest crowning achievement I've had this for the year 2020. It's definitely one of the biggest achievements I've had thus far. If you follow me on Facebook, my Facebook like timeline or page banner is a screenshot of Cindy's Choice with the number one orange ribbon that's on the number one new releases and number one bestsellers on Amazon. So thank you to everyone for checking that out. Thank you for giving me my first number one. So now that we have talked about 2020, what's coming in 2021? I uh, do want to let everyone know I will be going back to doing some uploads on the second channel. I am waiting on a book to arrive as we speak. And with that book, I will be doing my first reading on my second channel since early December. I do apologize for those that really like that channel because I did take a break from it after going so many weeks of doing multiple uploads. But I was trying to get the last little bit of Chaos Fusion done. I was trying to get Omni finished up, which I'm still working on. And when this channel passed 2,000 subscribers, I already knew I was going to do daily uploads for a week. So something had to give, and I ended up deciding the best option would be to give the second channel a break. So that's going back up. As far as my releases go, the print release of Omni will happen this year. That is a promise. The reason it hasn't come out yet is stuff keeps happening in my life and Omni is a spiritual successor of sorts to Meta and Meta is where I wrote all my personal stuff. So Omni is following suit. 
I also want to mention that the Omni follow-up will also be out this year. Current plan is to have Omni out the first quarter of this year and have the follow-up out the last quarter of this year. And for the record, there is stuff coming out in between those two books. Uh, the one I will confirm is Novella number six. I'm not going to give too much away, but I will say that it is a fantasy horror genre for those that are wanting to check something out. If you like my horror stuff and if you like Three Crowns, then you'll like this. I am also looking at possibly taking some of the short stories I've written for children's anthologies over the last few years and compiling all those into one short story collection. Uh, a couple of those books have went out of print. Uh, a few of them, the rights have already reverted back to me. I do want to let everyone know now, if I do that this year, well, honestly, whenever it does come out, the children's short story collection will not be released under the name C.L. Williams. It will be released under my real name, Luke Wood. I took a lot of thought into this because I didn't necessarily want to do some brand split of sorts. But the thing I got to look at is a parent picks up this children's collection by C.L. Williams and then they look up my bibliography and they're going to see Tales from the Forbidden Forest, which has a river of blood on the cover. They're going to see the anthologies that I've been in, which are kind of gruesome. Some parents are not going to want to buy this book for their kids. On side of the stuff I've written under my real name, there's only one book that's kind of dark, and that's my poetry book, Lives of the Fearless. Everything else is poetry and three crowns. I've also got plans to release some more novelettes. I'm not going to say anything else beyond that, but don't be surprised if another novelette comes out this year. It will not be Chaos Fusion. It will be under a different banner. So, and since I am wearing it, Got the shirt with the Writer 434 logo. C.L. Williams. It's on the version of the logo. The Writer 434 merch store will be up at some point this year. I'm going to try to have it up and running in January or February. I'm not going to make any promises, though. But it will be up and running. I've already done a small order of t-shirts. I've got ink pens that are already here. I've got coffee mugs I'm currently ordering and maybe a couple other things. And I'm going to try to talk to some people I've worked with in the past about maybe doing some books that feature signatures other than my own or just me. But that's going to do it for this part of the video. Uh, once I'm done talking, we're going to have the 2020 A Look Back video, similar to the very first upload I did with my 2019 Look Back video. And then that will be it for this video. So thank you for watching and enjoy 2020 A Look Back.